Sir, here we have a decays brown snake, which used to be called northern brown snake, Storaria decayi. Um, you can see this one's really flattened out. You unfortunately can't smell it, or maybe fortunately you can't. Um, it's also just must me. This is a very, very common snake, probably the most common snake that we have here in Virginia. And it's also incredibly misidentified. Because it has a dark head and it has a pattern, this animal is constantly mistaken for a copperhead or just a venomous snake in general. And because of that, lots of people kill it. This is actually a full-grown snake. You can see it's sitting in my hand, very, very small. But, um, you know, it didn't get bigger than a foot, but that's a rarity. Um, that You know, that is a huge snake. Um, so it's, it's a small snake to begin with. But, um, but again, the color pattern makes this thing something that people have really, um, really gotten scared of. It's harmless. It can't even bite me if it wanted to, although it has musked me like I just told you. Um, this guy feeds on soft-bodied stuff, grubs, uh, earthworms especially, slugs, that kind of thing. And so it's, it's a harmless little creature, beneficial in many ways. Um, this one I got underneath this wildlife board, uh, this snake board we have placed out here. See the belly pattern? But the best way to identify it is really from the top dark head and then the, um, if I can turn it over, turn them over so you guys can see better, paired spots along his body. And that helps to identify it. I don't let this little guy go, but again, uh, it used to be called Northern Brown Snakes. Now they've reclassified it and it's named the Decay's Brown Snake after, uh, 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 after store decay, which was a, uh, I'm sorry, after a guy named Decay who was supposedly was the first one to identify, to identify it. Neat, very little, a very common, harmless backyard snake, the northern brown snake, now called the Decay snake. This guy gives live birth, so it holds the eggs inside, and uh, and so forth, and then it gives live birth. Uh, it you know maybe a half dozen or so. And the young are really tiny. They look basically like little toothpicks. Uh, they have a ring around their neck for the first little, first couple of months, um, which sometimes you know causes people to think that they're something different. But, but uh, those rings disappear very, very soon after that. And so much for that. Um, I'm gonna let this little guy go. Again, a northern brown snake, what it used to be called, now called the decays brown snake, a common backyard snake of edges and so forth. A very adaptable little creature. I'm gonna go right here and let it go under on its own. You guys can see the wildlife board, and there it goes. Again, it can flare up like it did when I first touched it. Come on, buddy, get back under. And there you go. Decay's brown snake.